We're faced with a situation here where less than five people uh, with a very rare condition called PNH are being denied life-saving drug therapy uh, that would not only uh, help to save their lives but would transform the quality of their lives. What is even more extraordinary is that th there are 10 existing people with the condition who are under treatment uh, since 2010 and some since 2007. Uh, but anybody else who has come along with this condition since then cannot get access to the treatment. Uh, and I've spoken to, to, to Mary uh, um, Gorman and to John Duggan, both who are seeking to be put on this treatment, and they've been uh, over two years now uh, trying to get the minister and trying to get the government and the Taoiseach um, uh, to give them access with the HSE to this therapy. And they are being denied it, and I raised it in the Doyle um, yesterday uh, to try and give profile to this campaign. It's just, uh, in my view, a scandal uh, that uh, over 10 citizens have it, which is right, but that other citizens can't get access to it uh, and are being denied um, a life-saving drug um, for reasons of cost alone. What needs to happen now uh, is that the Taoiseach and the Minister for Health, Leo Radcar, will have to roll up their sleeves and get involved and sort this out and go back to where they were in 2010, identifying this as a high-tech drug administered at St. James's Hospital, uh, where the uh, specialist clinicians are, and uh, give these citizens the same access to this drug therapy uh, that the previous government gave in 2010 um, to, to uh, the 10 people who have been on it since then. It's as simple as that. We need equality. No, citizens, no citizen can be treated differently to any other citizen in relation to access to drug therapy. That's a very basic uh, right in my opinion.